It's been a while since I've said this, but no intro. Let's get right to it. Oh my god. Okay. I'm just logging in right now. I'm just going to test my audio and everything, so there will be a little cut here. It seems I have close to 47k power rank. I didn't think I was that close. Uh, yeah, we are returning here. I haven't played in like a year. I think it's 11 months or so. And yeah, I don't have any mods anymore. Because I have... Okay, I have some Twitch drops here. I'm just going to check if my audio is okay and then I'll come back again. I don't remember being this fast. Why? Am I, how much movement speed do I have? Uh, where is it? 145? Is this 145? It feels like I'm super fast and I haven't even pressed shift. Bruh. If I press shift, it's 204. God damn. Have they increased something or buffed something? I quit like when this came out, uh, the karma or whatever, positive karma, uh, God, yeah, I got some quests to do, huh, gear crafters, haven't touched that, I don't know what this is, the mana thing, yep, karma there, and now we have the event as well, so much to do, so much to do, well, I still have, oh, this is pretty interesting, okay, so I'm rank, on Trove Mastery, I'm still 1200. Total, I'm 1100. And then Geode, I'm 711. I wonder what's max on Geode now. Okay, so we're gonna start off by fixing all the mods. I guess I will go to like Cash and Clean's mod video or my own or a combination of them and just grab everything I want. So. Be right back with the mods. Oh, one thing before the mods though. I noticed I am kicked from most clubs. I know Imperium got like hijacked, so I understand that one. Yeah, at least Trove Academy hasn't kicked me. I should set this to be my main club again. Or again, I should set this as my main club for now. Boom. Get the buffs. Also gonna leave some chats here. I don't need to be in any chat for now. Okay. Now we're getting mods. Okay, so like one hour later, <laughs> that took it took at least it took at least more than half an hour to fix all the mods. Okay, now it's looking completely different. All right, let's see here. IU compass requires player location. All right. Oh my god, did I see that correctly? <gasps> you can choose shadow. Oh my god, you can choose anything here now. Oh no, I see now. I just randomly checked, like, companions to see if there was some new Geo thing there. And I guess that is what I'm missing. And it's the heck bugs, so... Gotta wait, like, a year, I guess, to get those, I think. What else do we do in this video? I have no idea. I was just gonna make a returning to throw, like, my first reaction. Wow, I was two rampages away from this challenge when I quit. Like, what do I even do, though? I quit? Oh, yeah, the... Auto use thing. Oh my god, what is. <laughs> I had not checked this mod out yet. I have everything on one page. That's pretty cool. And then we have the tabs down here. Okay. We got a lot of dust, I guess. 59 lives. God damn. I get to experience the new player feeling. Like, this is why I make videos so people don't have to feel like this, but now I'm in this spot. Like, I should just do these quests, I guess. I kind of want to know about the mana thing. Is that that one? Martial arts. It seems I started it before I quit. The composter. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go do the quests. And then we'll figure out what I should do, I guess. Okay, all of this wants to just collect immediately. All the trophies. That's nice. I wonder if I want to keep some, just in case I need to do that again. But let's just do it on all of them. And also... I do plan to return to this game and I do want to use Patreon because I really want that triple star bar. I think I was still collecting things in the star shard. Let me see. That one is locked. Yeah, you need to unlock that one with keys. Did I only have one left? No, up there too. 35. Well, exit. And now we can be on our merry way again. Okay. Collect negative karma. Use your soul tangle at the Karmic Shrine to collect some negative karma. I need this thing. 
used by the martial arts and sold by Neon Punch Club. It's not that guy. Is it up here? Ah. Oh yeah, and these are the things that give you positive karma as well. I think I saw in another guide from Cash and Clean. Is it when I loot, collect some style or something? Yeah, I didn't get any style now. Okay. Craft mantra. Why can't I do these? Because I don't have the recipes. Is that those? Yes, it is. Learn. Learn. I guess I'll take the crit one. Was I not supposed to do that? Ah, so that was just stances and stuff. And this is the mantra. Okay. I was just wasting <laughs> even more than I had to then. Boom. Interact with the relic of blah, blah, blah. What the hell is this? Consume your currently equipped mantra, converting it into a litany. Why Why does this exist though? I sell the incense. Okay, where are you? Are you the guy? Yes. Let me craft this. And that completed a quest. And I still don't know what I'm doing. Bruh. Speak with him. Purchase and use act of service. Okay. Move unsightly weeds. That's an unsightly weed. Ah, oh, you have to press E on it. Oh my god, guys. Gameplay. Whoop, whoop. And return to the guy. Okay. Oh yeah, and I should put on a better tome. Interesting. All right, was the this the end of it? No. Uh, now it's the last one. Purchase fish food. Okay. And with that, you do what? Throw this food into a fish pool found in water to feed the fish and feel better about yourself. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's it. Oh yeah, the mana maximizers. Do you just use these? Is this the thing? No, that's a compost. That's the random thing. Uh, you'll have to help me in the comments, I guess. All right, next quest line to learn about gear crafters forge. Like ring crafting, gear crafting is a great way to keep your stats topped off. The gear crafters forge can be found in character corner under the giant metal gear. View a la 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 store. La 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 will sell most of what you need to get started with gear crafting. Find him near the gear crafter. La la. la. Okay. Craft a gear crafting novice recipe. Did any of these? Oh, it's not. It's in here. Okay. Obtained by loot collecting equipment. So I can do that, but I can also just buy it here. Okay, this has a limit. Guess I'll just buy all of it. Open a gear crafter's vault box. Did I just get that? Maybe. Uh, no. Guess I have to go do a dungeon, right? Two gear crafters vault. All right. Oh, and I did I have some, or did I get it from that world boss just now? Okay, maybe. Uh, open. Oh, it opens everything when I do that. Okay. Hmm. We got some ore. Oh, you get ember slag ore from these. That's interesting. I needed a lot of that. What's the price on that now? Okay, we have a lot more in store, I guess. I know I needed this for something with the phoenix motes and stuff. Where is my Phoenix modes, by the way? Oh my god, a geode tab when I haven't... <laughs> oh, I haven't sorted this. I, I didn't have this mod before, right? With everything in one page. So it just looks messy as hell. There it is, 35, okay. Get pure forged gear. By opening vaults. Isn't it just better that I go to like... Five star dungeons and do my dailies at the same time, I guess? So, in regular order, we're gonna grab the daily quest. See how many vaults we get from this. Okay, so one five star dungeon. Oh, I don't have my auto claim. I need to fix that. And how many did we get? 17. Let's just do another one for the quest anyway, and then we'll open them. That's one daily quest. Oh, and I don't have any tome reminder. 
need to fix a tome reminder as well. What, if I press fast, will it just go in an absolute instance? Because I feel like it's fast when I'm just pressing open. Yep. <laughs> Boop. Did I get any gear? No. Only these things. Okay, so that's another daily out of the way. Let's see now. Nope. Yeah, what's even in my chest? Okay, the chest doesn't look like all in one. Okay, we got some stuff saved. Some event things. Let's see if we can get something now. Nope. One eternity later. Okay, now then. We have the karma bar. I'm gonna open one at a time until we get to the karma. Okay. Yes, something. Reach 250 skill. Damn, that's pretty high. The face is always the cheapest, right? Yep. So we're just gonna make a bunch of faces. I'm just gonna check. How much do you get from like loot collecting this gear? Yeah, so there's quite a lot of quite a lot from just the gear itself. So I can't just shoot through walls and be happy with that. Now I have enough, I think. No, it's not enough. Oh, I need like double. Yeah, obviously, since it's 25, I need double to make 50. Makes sense. Okay, so I need 3.7k block element. But how do you open this thing? Sunseekers Crystal Forge. So did I just get that thing from doing dungeons? I didn't notice getting this thing. Oh... Wow, they changed this. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, you can't craft crystal gear here anymore. Huh. Okay, so you have to do the gear crafting thing to craft crystal gear. Wow. Huh. Okay. And then you get a fixed amount of nitro from that. And you have to click it each time. Why does it say... Did I get something from that? I got... A new form of box. What am I getting right now? Consume or loot collect. Oh, 48 nitro. But if I press it, one, two. Okay. So, okay. Uh, I don't know if I just wasted that or what. No, you did good. Stop being so confused. Oh, okay. My inventory is full and I just got another mod. So I'm going to restart again. Let's see if the mod works. Yeah, I got this mod that makes these ranged guys pink. And it's because they have a high chance of dropping stellar and stuff. So but it's nice when you're doing a curse call and then you just notice like a pink enemy over there. And now we have enough to get the block elements to craft the next tier. So 50 of those. And now we need 150 on each face. Can I just calculate how much I will need? Uh, okay, so I need 22k and then we can make these things. Okay, now, a uh, couple days later, two days later, I have grinded my ass off and we have, no, not flux. We have 26k block elements, so that should keep us, uh, it should have, well, uh, it should be enough to get the uh, max skill, so gonna make 50 faces here again and 50 of these i can only make 19 because we are we need some more ores iradium and amber slag make 50 of those there we go oh and also i said something about uh, this only being crystal one but apparently when you get this skill up you will have a chance to get good stuff from the vaults. I heard that if you are 15k power rank, you can start getting crystal 4 out of these when your skill is maxed, so it's definitely good to max this out, and then whenever you open these, you have a chance at good gear. When you are 15k, you can get C4. When you are 25 or 30k, I forgot which one. Basically, 15k, you can get C4. The higher up you go, the higher the chance are of C4, and then when you're at 45k, you can get crystal 5. And also, something I learned today is that you can get Crystal 5 from Delve 
uh, when you do U10 delves, like from the shadow caches. When you have the pity system, you know, every time you can get a C4 from delves. It can be C5. I've seen it confirmed by a guy getting it on a random class not equipped with C4, so... And now the quest just wants us to go and interact with the NPC in the hub again, I think. Get pure forged gear from the gear crafter's vault. Okay, so now that we have leveled that up... Wait, get pure forged gear. Oh yeah, right. Let's open these and see if we get anything good. Let's just start with the... Boop. Oh, tempered block elements, okay. And then it's 70. Let's just open 70 at a time, I guess. Okay. Okay. There we go. Pure forged headpiece. We got a C4 hat with two stars on it. That's insane. Like you get these boxes constantly and now I can get 90 crystalline cores for that. Oh my god, that is good. 90 cores. Instead of doing 95 star dungeons. <laughs> Basically. Holy shit. Okay. Unlocks one random gear crafting mount. Oh, what? Oh, is that... These... There are mounts here? No? I should get my daily block elements. But yeah, what was that? What's a gear crafting mount? Can you only get them from the box? Let's just open one, I guess. Maybe it's stupid. Gyro gear sprocket. Okay. If I search for that, it's from... Yeah, it's literally called gear crafting here. So if we go into mounts... Should be at the bottom, I guess, since it's new. Yeah. Okay, there's only one more gear crafting. Okay, so I guess you only acquire them from boxes then. Maybe I'm wrong though. I'm not even gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep opening. Oh my god. Is that also C4 now? C4 with two stars. C4 with two stars. What? Another 180 cores. God damn. All right. Okay. Yep. Boop boop. Oh my god, I got a crystal 5 bow with 2 stars. What the hell? Okay, so... In my first 2 days back, I got a C5 hat that I upgraded myself. Maybe I shouldn't have because maybe I will get one here soon. We got a bow. Schmack. Okay, C5 bow. Now we only need a face. You guys have probably played with this for a long time maybe and you're just like... Okay. Okay, let's just... <laughs> Look at this! Ah, it's so much. Uh, let's just loot collected for now. Obviously, it's easy to get more, so... And now I'm just gonna do one little Cursed Veil dungeon for the Dragon Coin daily. And then we're gonna start with... Oh, double experience potion. We're gonna start with the mana thing. And then the video will be over, I guess, after that. All right, mysticism. Find a mystena cool in the hub. Oh, it's down here with the fishes. Okay. Oh no, could I have done this daily already? Well, let's just start now, I guess. View buffs. View recipes here. Oh yeah, potions. And here we have... Ooh, that's probably a... Weekly thing, right? 200 crystallized mana? No! Standard tobes can be charged repeatedly. Okay. Maybe this is good then for me when I start out. Oh my god, what is this? Why? Ah, uh, Disgusting. Okay. Acquire wild trovian mana. That's the thing on the floor, right? Okay, that quest is done. Craft a buff. Guess I need to go back there. Craft alchemistics insight. When equipped in the auto use slot, Alastrovians, the insight required to transform a currently active buff into a potion recipe. Okay, that sounds weird. Okay, so now that's on. Ah, oh, Highlands Mana Hunter. Okay, so there's that. Increases wild trovian mana harvest yield. Is it my shop? Ooh, mana maximizer. I guess I should grab that. 
I don't know if it's worth tentacles. I feel like I'm getting these constantly anyway. Yeah, there's no way it's worth the tentacles. I'm just getting this constantly. And this is just stuff. Okay, so was that it? Am I done? I'm done. Okay. And then I just need to do this like weekly, I guess. So I guess that's it for my first video here back on the channel. And yeah, look forward to all types of guides, a new mod video and maybe some class guides. I don't know what you guys want, but I'm thinking geode guide, mod video again, maybe a shadow hunter guide and then just a guide for everything eventually. So I got some stuff to do and yeah, see ya.